often refer okay. to big boys yeah. and their toys. Well, for this particular item, we are actually in a big boys toy shop, a model shop, and we are hoping they have the technology to build a bouncy ball. Um, a bit of a strange request. We've, we're um, looking to shoot a target, and I need to make a, a moving target. Um, I've got a, a, new, uh, a new gun that I'm uh, trying out. Um, it's a double rifle, and what I need to do is try and uh, simulate a, a, a pig running past. So I need something that's going to be able to go across rough terrain um, quite fast and carry a bit of weight because I've got to put a target on top of it. Okay, um, you think maybe fuel driven or probably electric? Chris, behind the counter, uh, yeah, barely so flinches when Roy and Ian tell him they want to shoot at a Tonka toy on steroids. To well, I'd probably recommend something like this. Uh, it's one tenth scale, it's a uh, four wheel drive. Um, nice and bouncy off roads. Right. Um, I'll take the body shelf as you can see underneath. Uh, four wheel drive with individual suspension all round, so it will handle the bumps, and that'll do around about 30 to 25 miles an hour standard. Superb. So we know this monster truck is fast, powerful, and can take on rough terrain, but can it carry a pig? What about weight wise? Will it carry a bit of weight, do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, it will pull, sort of, give you a rough idea, probably around about six bags of sugar behind it. Oh, really? Um, if it was on top, then you'd probably get a bit more out of that than that. <laughs> six bags of that. sugar? Hmm, like hardly Hogzilla. But then we've yet to see the A team class engineering <laughs> skills of this double act. That's too big a bum, really, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, so, yeah, what on earth is this remote controlled car business all about? Well, rifle's finally here. Um, we've got nice new shiny scope arrived from Zeiss and we've got the ammunition so all the components we need to go and uh, have a little bit of fun with some driven piggies. Um, before I do that though, um, obviously the same as uh, any form of shooting, you want to make sure that you're, you're proficient and you want to make sure that you're accurate. Rather than wasting um, a lot of money and uh, making a lot of noise with this, um, we thought the easiest way of doing it was to uh, get an air rifle um, and just practice with the air rifle because although the, the trajectory um, and the velocity are going to be completely different from using the rifle, it's still the same um, base set of skills that you're going to be using. So hopefully we'll have a bit of fun and uh, see if we can hit anything. Practicing driven ball like this with an air rifle is a lot safer than the other idea we heard of, shooting at a barrel towed behind a tractor. Please do not do this. Before we get a chance to mount any type of target, the boys want to give the granite muncher a spin just to get a feel of the handling and judge whether it will do the business. It certainly ploughs through plenty of horse business as it skids across the paddock. Within no time it has the whiff of a pair of soiled jodhpurs. Right into the pits to pimp this ride. It's going to be a steep learning curve. There are plenty of suggestions, and thankfully we aren't looking for pig perfection. Then we could have like piggy head. Oh, pulled in the park. Right. Right Let's see if it works. The prototype is not a thing of beauty, but can it defy the laws of physics, which are currently <laughs> pointing and laughing at this right, heavy monstrosity? Yeah, Nature right, abhors a vacuum. Yeah. Right. It also abhors this tragic attempt at a simulated bore. Oops. Never mind, that it needs to lose the bulk and stiffen up Enough for high-speed shooting. Doesn't quite work, does it? I think we'll... Um Mm, might be a little bit heavy for the car. Although it's, um, we were trying to make life-size piggy, I think we might have to go to stage two. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can come up with this time. This looks more promising, but Ian's daughters might not appreciate their father's lateral thinking. Ball Mark III takes shape, and it could be a eureka moment. Sorry? There's certainly plenty of confidence and backslapping in the pits. Even with the comedy udders, it looks as if we're ready for action. That drives like it would normally drive, pretty much. A lot better than them cardboard boxes. Is that your motivation in your hand? That is my motivation in my hands. We've got pictures of Piggy, so yeah, once we've uh, once we've shot the um, the fake teats, then we can uh, put Piggy on there, and away we go. So. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, got the gloves. We couldn't find any balloons or anything else to, uh, to use, so we've got the balloons to start off with, improvisation, and then we're going to put pictures of piggies on there once we get the accuracy down to a T. So uh, we'll see how we get on. As Roy's air rifle is on the blink rather than on the plink, he's called in Jim to bring a spare. We must apologise as there now follows a blatant plea to any air rifle manufacturer by Mr Roy Lupton. If any air rifle manufacturers uh, are out there and they'd like to uh, 
you know, provide me with a, a nice new shiny rifle, it would be rather lovely because my one's broken. So uh, hence I've had to phone a mate and uh, ask him to bring this one down so we can have a play with it. So what we got then? It's a Brocock Concept Super 6. It's a six shot uh, pre-charged TT rifle. Excellent. Uh, it should do the job for your piggies. Little carbine. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Blagger. On with the programme and we release the uddered <laughs> boar. Sorry? He's about six foot behind that. Was it? Yeah. Never. It was. How could you say I was six foot behind? It didn't it even have a pellet. Saw, no, you didn't I, see a pellet, you I just saw, saw a bit saw of mud. No, There's I, no I, way I was six foot behind. I saw a pellet no, up. not having it. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Thank you! Oh. See it helps when you've got a pellet in it. Yeah, but you're still getting the background. Sorry? That's amazing how much. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll wait for it to come round. I didn't miss a it was a little bore anyway. Like you. <laughs> You're not playing fair. Really? Hold on. No, I'm not ready yet. Hang on. Oh, Give us a chance. Yes! Yeah. Now Thank you. you. Now we've got it. I was giving that about three foot, well, no, two or three foot lead on that. So, uh, but it, I mean, it always helps when you're trying, uh, trying out and uh, yeah, just learning how to uh, do something. Um, if your, your mates actually drive it at a constant speed rather than <laughs> asking about and um, run it all over the place. So uh, yeah, Ian was taking great pleasure there and accelerating just as he knew I was about to take the shot. So, uh, well, I suppose it's only fair. I mean, pigs won't run at a constant speed. Everyone quickly realises this has the potential of becoming an Olympic event. Unfortunately, Ian just can't quite get in the groove. Oh, look! Oh, he missed! I want to show with the big balloon. Right, come on then. Ready? Yeah. Oh, he missed again. Did I? It's still up. I want to show I'll give that varying leads as well. Did you? Yeah. It's just useless. What was you doing to it? Sorry? Blowing it. Did you, did you even load that magazine? Yes, it's <laughs> All who have a go huh? nail the boar, and yet Ian yes! struggles. Of course, everyone is sympathetic. We soon get bored with blowing up the gloves and move on to shots of swine. This is equally popular, and who needs a spotting scope to see where your shot ends up? In this discipline, you must drive the target to within arm's reach. So, what about the double rifle? Well, sorry to say, we were having such good fun with the air rifle and our new high-speed boar, we ran out of time. But time well spent as Roy is doing all he can to ensure he doesn't make a pig's ear of things.